Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to speak about the effect of dilution on the pH value. Let's get started. Changing the volume will never affect the pH. The pH value is independent of the volume of the solution measured. How can we understand that? I'll give you a very simple example. If we have this nice jug of lemon juice, and we have distributed this amount of lemon juice in three different size cups. Do you think they will taste different? No, they will taste the same. Same as with any acid. Lemon is acid, of course. Same with any acid. If we have this amount of acid in this beaker, and we have distributed this amount in two different beakers of different sizes, they will have the same uh, concentration of hydrogen ions. So, the change in the volume will never uh, uh, affect the pH as long as they have the same concentration. So let's check a, a real example here. If we have, as you can see here, uh, 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 two like hydrochloric acid, two solutions of hydrochloric acid. What's the difference between them? The difference between them is in the volume. But they have the same concentration. Do you think they will have different pH? No they will have exactly the same pH while they have different volumes, but as long as they have the same uh, concentration, so they have the same concentration of hydrogen ions, so the pH will never be affected. The only thing that we might affect the pH is dilution, adding distilled water. If you add more water to this jug of lemon, it, the taste will differ. Certainly, the taste will differ. If you add lots of water, uh, a reasonable amount of water, the taste will be different. So if an acidic solution is diluted, what's meant by dilution? Addition of distilled water, then the hydrogen ion concentration will change, and so will the pH value. As we have said before, the pH scale is logarithmic, which means that each whole pH value below 7 is 10 times more acidic than the higher value. What does this mean by that? If we have pH 3 and pH 4, pH 3 has a lower value, of course, than 4, which means that it is 10 times more acidic than pH 4. So 3 is more acidic than pH 4 with a uh, factor of 10. pH 3 is 100 times more acidic than pH value. So we should understand that the value, one value pH is equivalent to 10 times more or less concentration of hydrogen as we will see here. Each, also each all pH value above 7 is 10 times less acidic than the lower value. So pH 9 and pH 8, 8 is more acidic, or 9 is less acidic. By, by what factor? 10 times. Same, 9 and 7. So 9 is 100 times less acidic. Two values, so two zeros. Let's check this equation. If you have 99 cubic centimeter of distilled water. Uh, and you, you add them to uh, one cubic centimeter of solution with a pH 2. What is the pH of the new solution? Okay, first of all, you were having one. The solution volume was one with the pH 2. Then you add 99. So what has happened to the solution? What has happened to the solution? you were having the original solution was 1. After adding 99, it became 100. So the difference, is, the difference is two zeros. So the volume of the solution was 1 cubic centimeter. It became 100 uh, uh, cubic centimeter. So it has been diluted by a factor of 100. We, as we said from a while, if we have two zeros, so we have two values. If you are adding water, so it is less acidic. So the pH should increase and the pH, the new pH will be 4.